Welcome. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and we have today Chet Messer's Spotlight on Sports with a focus on Basketball Senior Night. This is Chet Messer reporting. The tradition of the Marotta Basketball Association Senior Night has been kept alive in this COVID-19 pandemic year. The format was changed to accommodate the rules of social distancing and the fact that parents and friends are not being allowed to enter the field house for basketball games. The ceremony was conducted on Saturday, January 16 at 9.30 in the morning. It was a rainy, cold, and windy day. The organizers lined the autos of parents and friends who were attending the ceremony in front of the presentation tent. This provided a visual for all seven seniors being honored while staying warm and dry. When it was time for their player athlete to be recognized, it was a short walk to the presentation. Each senior was given a commemorative gift and the mothers of the player a bouquet of flowers. For each of the seniors, their number and name are shown on the photo standing with their parents and friends. A brief action video is then presented. In four cases, the players make a comment about who influenced their basketball career. Now, this reporter will stand aside and let you watch the ceremony. The person who most influenced my basketball career is my dad because he pushed me to start playing and he keeps pushing me every day. The person that has influenced my basketball career the most is my dad because he's been with me every step of the way and has coached me along my journey. The person who has most influenced my basketball career is Tom Izzo. My final comment is that I'd just like to thank all the coaches that have supported me um, throughout my career, throughout my basketball career, and have helped me along the way to become a better player and a better person.
person who influenced me the most during my basketball career is Brandon Stevens. He is my cousin and he is my AAU coach. He has been my AAU coach since the eighth grade. And since then I've always grown as a player and I owe a lot of it to him because he's always pushed me to be better on and off the court. And I can't think of him enough. And he's pretty much the brother that I never had because him and I are very close. I want to court. thank my biological parents and my foster parents for helping me become the young man that I am today. I am most proud of myself for always being resilient. And whether I'm coming from Dorchester on the train, on the MBTA bus to the high school, whether I'm coming from Belmont Center on Pleasant Street and going to the high school, I'll never forget where I came from and that what I did to get here was I was not alone. And I want to thank those people, especially for helping me get here. And I love them truly.